Hello again, YouTube. We're back on Free Code Camp doing JavaScript algorithms and data structures. We are in the regular expressions course on challenge 24 of 33. So in the previous lesson, we found all white spaces. And then before that, we found all numbers and all letters and numbers and then anything but letters and numbers and anything but numbers. We're doing the same thing with white spaces. So in the previous lesson, we just learned that we can find white spaces with backslash s as in lowercase s. We can do the same thing to find anything but a white space. So literally letters, numbers, symbols, characters, anything but a space with the capital S, right? Same thing as the D, same thing as the W. Lowercase finds everything that is that. Capital finds anything but that. In this case, white spaces. So in this example, you can see we have a string that has one white space, as in just a regular space here and another one here. And then the expression is backslash capital S, so everything but a white space, G. So it's gonna find all characters that are not spaces. And you can see the value returned by the length would be 32. And you know this works because this is a function call and the match method returns an array. So this expression is equal to whatever array the match method turns or returns to us, and then we're just calling the dot length property on that array. So it says here that the length method would return 32. So clearly there must be 34 characters in this string, two of which being white spaces. So it's going to return 32 because it found everything but those two white spaces. So that's all we have to do uh, for this one is find everything but the white spaces um, in the string. So non multiple non white space characters, okay? Which again, white spaces are just spaces. There's space bar spaces. So to do that, we're quite literally just gonna copy this expression here because we want to find backslash capital S, all characters that are not a space and we want all of them. We want them globally, not just the first one. Because if again, if we didn't include the G, it would only match the first match. But when we include the G, it finds all matches. So that should be it. That's all we had to do. There we go. I hope that helped, guys. Hope that made sense. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson.